It's been one of the hottest topics in Octibaha County lately, whether to sell, lease, or keep OCH Regional Medical Center. Today, a group dedicated to the hospital, local friends of OCH, met to make their case. Our Quentin Smith was there. He joins us live in the studio with more. Quentin. Scott, there was a big crowd on hand tonight. Dozens of hospital supporters showed up ready to make their voices heard about wanting OCH to remain locally owned and operated. But not everyone agrees with that decision. Nearly 100 concerned residents came out Monday night to voice their opinions on what they think should happen to their locally owned and operated hospital. We want to keep it local. Vote against the sale of OCH. Allison Bueller says she's made many trips to the hospital's emergency room with her children, and she's been pleased with the service. She's one of the many residents in favor of keeping the hospital under local control. Right now, OCH sees everybody. If you cannot pay, if you are um, a parent of a child who needs services, if you cannot pay, you are seen. Everybody with Medicaid and Medicare ought to be really concerned about this sale. Private hospitals do not have to see you, and that really concerns me as somebody who cares about kids and families. Bueller says she's also concerned that if the hospital is sold, jobs and revenue will leave Octibaha County. Recent numbers show the hospital lost $5.1 million in revenue this past year. However, Bueller says that still doesn't change her stance. The two hospitals who want to buy us lost $12 million last year, and the other one lost, I believe, around $30 million last year. So businesses lose and gain money. Um, Octavaha County Hospital has $21 million in reserve to pay for any losses that it has. But while she thinks it's best to keep OCH under local control, other residents think differently. I'm actually for selling the hospital or leasing the hospital. Um, I think leasing probably a better option. 25-year um, lease or a 50-year lease. Michael Reed believes leasing the hospital will free up more money for leaders to work on county projects. What it does is it, it frees up a lot of the money that's being um, allocated towards the hospital every year. And when you look at freeing up that money, you look at better infrastructure for the for the county. Reed also believes leasing OCH will be a better revenue generator for the county. When you look at um, leasing or selling the hospital, what it basically does is you're bringing in a franchisee which has more money, deeper pockets, which means you can have better health care, better doctors, um, you know, more. Um, there's going to be a, a, a more of an expansion of an employee base uh, because they have bigger pockets. Now, the deadline for businesses to make bids on OCH is this upcoming Friday. After that, the Board of Supervisors will share that info with the public to help residents make an informed decision. Now, all Octibaha County residents can have their voices heard on November 7th. That's when they vote on whether or not to sell the hospital. Scott, back to you.